When working on a construction project, there are costs which aren't immediately obvious and are often overlooked. Just because a cost is not directly related to the works doesn't mean it's not a cost related to the works. If you're a quantity surveyor, you need to know what these costs are, as missing them can land you in a heap of trouble. In this video, we're going to cover preliminaries or prelims, discussing what they are and how you can make sure they're included in your price and valuations. Before we begin, if you're new to this channel, we upload quantity surveying content every Wednesday. If you'd like to stay informed, why not consider subscribing and tap in the notification bell so you never miss an upload. So what are prelims? Well, put simply, they're costs and activities needed to set up, manage and support a construction site and project, but they don't actually become part of the finished building. Okay, that's useful, but specifically, what are the costs included in preliminaries? Well, according to RICS, this includes management and staff, site establishment, temporary services, security, safety, and environmental protection, control and protection, common user mechanical plant, common user temporary works, the maintenance of site records, completion and post-completion requirements, cleaning, fees, and charges, site services, and insurance, bonds, guarantees, and warranties. A full description of the items included in the preliminaries can be found in the RICS New Rules of Measurement, Detailed Measurement for Capital Building Works, NRM2. So where are preliminaries often overlooked? One, when submitting a price for the works. Two, during the interim valuation cycle. And three, within prolongation claims. As a QS, how do you make sure you don't overlook these vital elements like preliminaries? One way is with a mentor. Whether you're looking to secure a job or promotion, a Matrone mentor can help steer you on the right track, level up your career, and help you become an invaluable QS to your company. Head over to matrone.co.uk and look for Career Coach to find out more. Another important point with preliminaries is that they're often time-related as well as cost-related. For example, site accommodation, supervision, or security might be priced on a weekly or monthly basis, which means they can increase if the project runs longer than planned. This is why preliminaries are closely linked to extension of time claims and prolongation costs. As a QS, you need to understand both the fixed and time-related nature of these costs and make sure they're properly accounted for if the program changes. In conclusion, preliminaries may not form part of the finished building, but they are the backbone that keeps the project running smoothly. Overlooking them can lead to underpricing, undervaluing works, or losing out on legitimate entitlements. As a quantity surveyor, it's your responsibility to recognize, capture, and manage these costs properly, whether at tender stage, during valuations, or when assessing claims. Get this right, and you'll not only protect your company's bottom line, but you'll also strengthen your reputation as a commercially astute QS. Matrone, a commercial hub for your business.